Hey, this is Michael Lee with SpeedDemonGuitarLessons.com, where I'm going to show you how to kick ass fast. And we're going to go with the time machine and go way back to a karaoke perennial favorite, Ario Speedwagon, Time for Me to Fly. Now, there's only three chords in this whole song, so this should be a pretty easy one for us to master. The original tuning was in something called the open D tuning, which means that all you know the strings were, were tuned in something that's not standard a440 that uh, most of us play in. We're not going to mess with that. We're just going to go straight forward so that you can uh, master this thing and do your own you know, in-house karaoke or play it out or whatever by, by tonight. Three chords. D, A, and G. That's it. Could be any simpler. Now, let's start it out. D chord. I'm going to put your second finger on the second fret of the third string. Second finger your first finger, I mean, second finger on the second fret of the high string, and the third finger on the third fret of the second string. You want to strum this from the fifth string down. Don't hit that low string, it'll sound a little bit weird. So just hit from the fifth string, string down, just like that. Now, some of you may have a hard time with this chord because your fingers are all bunched up like that, and uh, you really got to press down hard. So if you need some help to get that thing to really push down, then you might want to roll your finger, your thumb, instead of up top, a little bit further behind the uh, the neck, right? And that'll give you more leverage. So there's the D chord. The A chord is another tough one for some beginning students, because you've really got to have strength on that first finger to hold all these chords down. And, and sometimes people will even take the second finger and push down on that first finger so that they really, you know, can, can get the uh, all the notes to ring. So this is another one that we're going to go from the fifth string down. You're going to put your, sec your first finger on the second fret of the fourth string, and then you're going to roll that so that it also plays the second fret of the third string and the second fret of the second string. You don't want to play the high string. That's a whole different chord there. Now some people will roll that fifth finger. I mean the, f the fifth finger. Uh, if we had a fifth finger, we'd be, yeah, we'd be playing a lot of interesting things. So I'm going to roll that fourth finger onto the fifth fret. So you get like that, but you got to have a lot of strength, so that might not be where you're at at this time. And other people will play an A, a chord like this, which again may be, and then you can hit that open note. But um, for me, that's just, it doesn't, it's just too hard to get to when you're playing a lot of different chords. And... Um, it's just not as practical, and later on we'll do videos to show you what you can do with the, with the finger just going across all of them instead of using that. You're really eliminating two fingers that you can use for other things. So I prefer you to try to get this like this. Now you're going to go fifth, four, three, two. I mean, you can even go just the fifth and the fourth string and be fine with it. Okay, again, with this one, if you're having a hard time with the Putting, hearing all the strings clearly, you may want to put your thumb a little bit further back on the uh, the neck. And like I said before, some people even push down with the second finger on the first finger. Really grip in there. And then the third chord is the G chord. Now, some people play the G chord like this, but I prefer to play it like this, using that third finger on the third fret of the second string. I think it just sounds... Uh, a lot more open, a lot, a lot fuller, and plus it also allows you to transition from the D to the G and back, which is a very popular transitional chord sequence. Whew, say that 5,000 times. All right, G chord. Second finger on the third fret, first finger on the second fret, play it in my way, third finger on the third fret of the second string, and pinky on the third fret of the high string. All right. That's the whole song, just moving those chords in different ways. Now, I'm going to get you a little secret here. Something that's going to open it up and make it sound even cooler. Now, take this D position, this D pattern right here, and you're going to really concentrate on the third finger. The third finger is your main, uh, what we call the root note of this chord. Now, you can play this from the fourth string, or fourth string down, or just the third string down. It's up to you. Now, it's a D, right? If we move the same exact pan, we just move the fingers up to where your third finger is on the eighth fret of the second string. 
now we've got a G chord. If we move that up two more frets, where it goes to the 10th fret of the second string, A chord, A major. So check this out. Instead of going like this, you can go like this. For the intro. I mean, it sounds cool, right? And it's, it's so simple. You don't even have to move your, you just have to move your hand. You don't even have to move your fingers. So, okay, so there's the intro. I just did it. G. G, I mean, I'm sorry, D, G, A, G, D, or our fancy way. Okay, that's the intro. Now the verse. It's so D, A, G, D. Sounds like this. Oh, and I'm not going to sing it because you don't want to hear that, but try to sing along. You, if you're watching this video, you probably know how the song goes. Uh oh, a little fancy time. All I did is take that pinky, put it on the third fret of the high string, and take it off. Easy. All right, that's the verse. Yeah. There's the, uh, I guess you call it a pre chorus. A, G, okay. Going to another section G, D, G, D. And now I believe it's time for me to fly. That's a whole song. Now the solo is the same as the verse. All right, easy. You'll be singing in no time. Time for me to fly. Now, if you want to rev up your playing a little bit more, go down to the link below and uh, check out our rapid playing method for guitar, our RPM for guitar, and uh, I'll see you next time.